driving range won't be open for the remainder of the day, unfortunately, but I'm out here on the back range and I'm gonna hit some, some wedges. Better than nothing. This this distance or, you know, anything in, in kind of the 60 to 85 yard range is a number that I'm gonna have pretty frequently in most of the rounds of golf that I play at some point or another. I'm guaranteed to have probably one of these shots around and typically, if you can make up and down when you have a shot like this, you know, you're putting yourself in a good position to score. Yeah, one landed right beside her. The way I try to play these shots is I go back to the stance. I try to keep my hands kind of low and I feel like I'm pulling with my hands and the club head's kind of lagging in my takeaway. And then I just rip my hands through down to the left. creates like a shallow but really spinny shot still. I am getting a very good amount of spin on that ball. Which is preferred for a shot like this. More times than not, can I really get too much spin on a shot like this? Contact's perfect. It's thin and wispy grass pretty much all in this back box now, which is unfortunate to see, but contact's really good given that. That was another very nice pick. With these, I almost feel like I'm catching them a groove low. That's really when I hit them the best is when I do that. And I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna do this for, you know, a little while. For one of the reasons being, it's gonna be the only full shot I'm probably gonna take all day or somewhat full shot I'm gonna take all day. So it'd be nice to see the ball fly for a bit. Secondly, you know, as I mentioned earlier, this is a shot that sure, I have to put myself within 10 feet, maximum 15 feet every time. And like here, for example, you know, it's getting very, it's, it's almost dirt right here. So for this one, I'm actually gonna do complete opposite. I'm gonna open up my stance, and keep my hands nice and high. And I'm gonna take an almost full swing and just finish left. It's not gonna go nearly as far, like a 65 yarder in the air. So definitely like more clipped on that one, came a little lower. About three that landed between 63 and 66, I would say. When the lies get a little questionable as well, but it's not too, too bad. I typically like to kind of play a draw as I get through the ball. This helps create the, a little more shallow attack angle, you know, right at impact. Just throwing that rotation through. So we got a couple in there pretty close. I, I don't necessarily try hit balls or spend time at a specific aspect of my game for too, too long. I've I tend to be pretty frantic when it comes to my practice. Not in a way where I can't get focused and can't settle in. I'm, I'm much more productive and effective when I'm constantly engaging my mind with something new. You know, if I sit here and I do this for the whole day, there's gonna come a point where I'm not really thinking about anything other than, and that's not really doing much for me. I like changing it up because there's never really a time where you're hitting one shot and then the exact same shot after that in golf. Now, obviously I'll do different things throughout my short game practice, but inevitably it consists of the same time principles. Like I'm not going to spend two hours at each given principle. As I mentioned earlier, I, I'd rather do 30, 45 minutes here, 45 minutes putting, come back to some shorter chips. Maybe you can even come back here and hit some more of these and then go back and putt for a little bit longer. That's what I much rather do. You know, keeps the mind sharp, keeps the mind occupied. You're not drifting away from your practice and your objectives. And you're, you're constantly in a, a frame of focus because you're doing something new and something fresh, you know, every 30, 45 to an hour. You know, so that's my biggest piece of advice in this first episode, I guess you can call it, of, you know, practicing as a professional. These are what I focus on. These are the things that have helped me get to where I am now. If you look at my play in college to now, I'm a totally different golfer, not because of sheer luck or because I figured things out. It's because of the processes and the systems I've put in place 
in order to get to this point. You don't see this kind of progression over a day or a week, but this is something that is very easy to spot over the course of a year or two years of proper process and systematic practice. Realistically, it is. This is what got me to this point.